this chapter 39 let me just go straight ahead and read it now joseph had been taken down to egypt potiphar an egyptian who, who was one of pharaoh's officials the captain of the guard brought, bought him from the israelites from the Ishmaelites who had taken him there, verse 2, because that's where we want us to focus on. The Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did, Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and of all that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had, both, both in the house and in the field. So Potiphar left everything he had in Joseph's care with Joseph in charge. He did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate. That passage is actually self but at this point we can see Joseph Joseph had been sold to, to slavery by his own brothers we can clearly tell that his brothers deeply hated Joseph while in Tukia Sana one because Joseph was the beloved child another thing Joseph alipewa the garment which was meant to be given to the first but my Joseph had come to talk why the 11th child but he had been given this garment so also another thing Joseph when 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 Jacob that was Joseph's father sent Joseph to go look after his brother he was he always brought a bad report but it is out of what they were doing so out of these three reasons, hey, his brothers really hated Joseph. Wakamuza into slavery. And I'm telling you, last Sunday we looked at this part. This is the part the now the enemy who had partnered with his brothers really celebrated. They had won. We had they, they thought Nunajwa to memaliza Joseph. Amesha, um say Amesha, but God turned everything around for his glory. God turned it around. When the enemy thought he had won Ameshinda Kabisa, God stepped in into Joseph's life and turned everything around. We can see in verse 2, when his master saw that the Lord was with him, that the Lord gave him success in everything he did. So we need Joseph into Potiphar's house. Hmm? Every thing he was given, every assignment that he was given, he succeeded. The, the animals just multiplied. If he was given a garden to plant something, the things just multiplied. It grew. He has in everything Joseph did succeeded, you know, because, because God was with him. All this happened because God was with Joseph. May that be your story, Maze. Maze imuaka nataka tu yoyi kwe story yako. When the enemy conspires about your life, kuna ma conspiracy, left, right, center. When people are, yes, in people are, are conspiring against you. When people are pushing you to the wall. When people are scheming bad things concerning your life, may that be your story. That may God step into your life and turn everything. That may you prosper even in that pit. May you prosper even in that valley. Yeah? May that be your story for 2021. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Even in slavery, where you are right now. You will prosper because I'm with you. I've never left you. I'm not going to leave you today. You will prosper in everything you do. So one thing, one there are three, there are six things we see from this chapter. The first thing, Joseph, Joseph now is in Potiphar's house. God makes Joseph, Joseph prosper in everything he does. The third thing that Potiphar realized, Joseph is with God. God is in God is with Joseph. This man cannot be prospering. Clearly, God is with this man. You know, so. So Joseph is highly favored, even with Potiphar. He's very highly favored. So because God was with Joseph, we can see that Joseph was that point of contact between him, he is a point of contact with heaven. That was that's why he was prospering. Yeah. So Potiphar and his household was blessed. Yeah. Since God was with Joseph, I came into that slavery, that master's house. 
everything in that house prospered. I'm sure Potifa alikuwa na alikuwa na watu mwingine. Ame, ameandika o slavery wengi 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 kwa hiyo nyumbake because he is an old man so he has experience with slaves or servants who are working in his house so he had experience but this this one person this joseph was different this man just steps into my house and everything prosper i'm blessed in the field nikienda job i'm blessed nikiwa hapa ndani i'm blessed that point is yes, in that thing met potiphar promote joseph to become now in charge of everything in that house. Potiphar did not care. He was in Akujishugulisha with anything in that house because he knew Joseph would just handle everything. And by the time Joseph was handling all those things, Joseph was a very disciplined person. He was very obedient. He was hardworking. He was trustworthy. To the point Anachiwa Nyumbayote, he was a trustworthy person. So that's one thing we can learn that Joseph was as trustworthy, obedient, disciplined, faithful in everything he's done. His integrity was very key. You know? So, Despite him being prospering and God being with him, he was a disciplined slave. <laughs> That's what the Bible says. He was a slave in Potiphar's house. So may that be your story. Wherever the enemy conspires to throw you, do not worry. Because God says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. So stay there. Stay there with God. You know, this week I was just telling.